Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured. It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. We got a short time. We're going to go over a bunch of the just headline news. This is stuff. This is why I don't do this very often because you can spend all day on just any one of the stories. Here we go. WikiLeaks, German firm CEO removed after WikiLeaks cable. What they're finding out is that a lot of these weekly, especially in the financial industry and large business and all that kind of this stuff starts coming out. What do they do? Ooh, should not have said that getting fired. There's all kinds of people more than just governments that want WikiLeaks shut down because they're you know, exposing what's really going on. Now, we'll get more on this, but someone uh, submitted an article for me to put up. It's uh, Rand Paul does precisely what his dad was worried Republicans might do. It seems that, you know, Ron Paul made it very clear on Judge Napolitano's show that, uh, you know, no, we shouldn't be raising this. This is where it stops. This is how you stop it. Rand is willing to make a deal that if they do some kind of, you know, pinky swear, we're not going to, we're going to have a balanced budget, something, whatever, he'll vote for the ceiling increase. And I'm just... You know, uh, we'll see how this plays out, but this gentleman was very upset by that, and we'll see what happens. Tea Party senators on politically charged Afghan trip. A number of Tea Party senators spent the weekend in Pakistan and Afghanistan as part of a delegation led by Senator Mitchell McConnell, Republican from Kentucky. Yep, we're going to be spending more money. We're still at war, and uh, this is why, and you need to go and visit and justification for and we went, and we're going to spend it. I guess. Now, here's uh, Bernie Sanders, and I think he's senator from uh, Vermont. And he gave an interview to Ross Story saying Obama may cut Social Security. Well, that is like, uh, man, that's, you know, inevitable. But, I mean, the fact that they're coming, I guess, is how they're testing the waters. Justice Department whistleblowers worse than spies. In a filing related to the detention of whistleblower Jeffrey Sterling, the Justice Department argued that being a whistleblower and leaking information to the media was a greater threat to society than when a spy sells that information to a single foreign country. Wow. This is, they're, no, they're wanting no whistleblowers, traitors. You know, this is, is this, how Orwellian you got to get before you go, uh, it's Orwellian. At least 65 die in attack at recruitment center in northern Iraq. A suicide bomber wearing an explosives-packed vest attacked a police recruitment center in northern Iraq Tuesday, a bloody strike that killed at least 65 people and wounded 160 others. Iraq is not, I don't know, docile or under control or whatever. If you're not in control, you're out of control. Well, they're out of control. Explosive food prices, the biggest risk, analysts say. These economies are clearly, and this is CNBC, these economies are clearly overheating and governments are putting measures in place to slow them down to fight inflationary pressure. More than anything else, food inflation is the problem. This, they can't stop this. This is just, it's already happened. They already did it. It's just the prices are starting to catch up with the inflation of the money supply. This is math. And it, they did it so much over the last couple of years, so much that it, it's, it's already getting, and they're going to do it more. This is what we have to look forward to. And poor people in poor countries are going to get violent. And we got poor people here. It's going to be the same thing for the same reason. But there's some hope. 
You know, we got some things like Cold Fusion Breakthrough announced. You know, they're going on how, you know, blah, blah, long story. Go look at it under science, medicine, and technology. We should probably put it under energy, too. But the um, Cold Fusion Breakthrough, you know, well, it's better than not. And we'll learn more about that as that develops. America's Dunkirk. Foreigners evacuate money from U.S. mainland. <laughs> and what they're referring to is Dunkirk was um, as the British evacuated uh, the shores of France there, getting back to England as the Germans were driving them into the sea. And he had just, they couldn't wait on, you know, the FEMA to come get them from, you know, Katrina kind of thing. They had the people came. They just got their, their own little motor boats and, you know, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, Cliffs of Dover there aren't that far. I mean, you can see them from the coast of France. So, you know, they're going, all right, all right, we'll just go over and get them ourselves. And they did by the tens of thousands. So they're talking about the same kind of save your money. Get get out of Dunkirk. You know, here come the Nazis, all right? Well, where are they talking? United States dollars. Get out of United States dollars. Now, where they say here, but once again, the biggest threat continues to be the rotation. They say, I love how they use these words. The rotation by China out of U.S. treasuries and into other securities. The rotation. Their rotation out. They're abandoning U.S. debt. Yeah, I don't know how nice you're going to say it. Now, what are some of the things that's going on here? Now, this is good. This is good. This is good. I like this. Go Montana. Lawmakers' new proposal would hit Fed with charges. That's what they're talking about. The state of Montana, which came up with the idea that the guns made, sold, and kept inside its borders simply are exempt from federal regulations and made that its law. Now, made that its law now is considering a new weapon that could be used to cancel much of the authority of federal agents over its residents. The new legislative proposal would declare that the state's local county sheriffs are the preeminent law enforcement authority in their jurisdictions and federal agents choose such as those working for the Internal Revenue Service, Federal Bureau of Investigation, DEA, BATF, and others would be required to get permission from the local sheriff before they could take any action. Now, we've been talking about this before. That's how it's supposed to be anyway. But, you know, uh, the sheriff's department oftentimes just lap dogs for. And, like, uh, you know, we have uh, uh, Sheriff Arpaio. He's like, give me a black helicopter with Fleur on it, forward-looking infrared radar, and we'll do that. And they did, and he does whatever. And that guy, just the way it rolls, man. People are getting all kinds of armored vehicles and helicopters and, and homeland defense money, and you got to spend it and under the condition of. Wow. I, you know, this is it, you know, because they can't. So Montana, I'm looking to Arizona legislators and saying, look, man, you guys better uh, get on the ball here. You're not going to do it. I talked to Russell Pierce, Senate uh, president, and I go, look, we can work together on something that's going to free free us. I, you know, I'll, 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 I'll tout it. You know, give me something. Here's something. We may try this. We'll see what, you know, support we can get for it. Now, 4409, he always does. Shelton, he always does some cool videos. And uh, when Giuliani started coming on talking about the shooting in Tucson, because the little girl uh, that was killed, a nine-year-old girl, she was born on 9-11. Well, you know you're going to get Giuliani, Giuliani on there and see how many times he can say 9-11. Well, Face the Nation uh, yes, uh, this Sunday, he was up there, and there he goes. So Shelton did a video, and it's pretty funny. You should go watch it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Elevator to space closer. Now, I remember this being an issue, uh, a, a thought experiment that they had the capa capacity to do in the 80s. Now, you do Kevlar, you just run it up to a space station, a satellite in orbit, geosynchronous orbit up there, and you just have this big cable. You just run an elevator, goes up and down this thing. You know, let's just stretch taut and you just go run an elevator. You don't even need to have, uh, you know, rocket thrusters or nothing. You just climb that elevator. Space scientists and engineers are looking at the possibility of designing the elevator to travel into space. It is also time that Indian... It is also time that Indian research institutions looking at developing carbon nanotube composite fiber nano epoxy and laser power beaming. They, and it goes on and on. This is what they're talking about. Because of materials are so strong now, you can just tether from some place on the earth, get you know big enough uh, concrete uh, rebar structure tied to mountain or whatever, and you run it up, you can just climb up it. Now they wanted to power the elevator. How do you power it? Well, I guess you could run wires or something. That'd be a pain in the butt. So they have lasers, and they have a laser that would shoot onto a collector on this elevator, and that's what powers the motors, like a solar thing. Yep, yep, yep. You think. 
But they've been working on this for 20 years, I've been hearing about it, and they're getting there. Well, you know, they got their own kind of space uh, surveillance elevator in Utah. Utah City may use blimp as anti-crime spy in the sky. The police want to have a permanent blimp that sets over the city. The eye in the sky, the pyramid eyeball sitting up there over your city. Because they can, you know, right up until they can't. All right, let's see if we can get to some other stuff. Camden, New Jersey braces for deep police and fire cuts. Yet another crisis upon this burdened city among the most impoverished and crime-ridden in the country. Deep layoffs of city workers go into effect on Tuesday, cutting up to 383 jobs or one-fourth of the city's employees. Wow, we got a, a sexting prosecutor claims immunity. They're going to sue this guy. He's, he's sexting, you know, he's sending text messages to people, harassing people. And he goes, hey, I'm a prosecutor. I'm immune. <laughs> I'm immune. I can do it. I mean, it just goes on and on. Obama, you know, the, the WikiLinks is showing that they were doing all kinds of rendition to Turkey and they're uh, torturing people there and they're trying to hide that. Response to shooting. Looser gun laws here in Arizona. Our legislature is making it more liberal to own guns and taking them in more places. Guns save lives. We know it here, and man, the liberal media around the country can't stand it. Wow. You see, and I still got a bunch of other stuff I didn't even get to on the front page of Freedoms Phoenix. You better go. Freedoms with an S, phoenix.com. This is Ernest Hancock. I'm publisher of freedomsphoenix.com and the radio talk show host of Declare Your Independence. Now, I want to give you my personal endorsement of a wealthy U.S. citizen that is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He's produced a video for you. It's a real eye-opener, and I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to watch it. www.endofamerica1and7.com endofamerica17.com This video has the history of how we got where we are now and where we're going and why. Now, it's a lengthy video. It'll be about 20 minutes, but you need to watch this so you understand what's going to happen to this country and how you can protect your wealth and even benefit financially. Now, you go there. It's free. I want you to watch this video. You need to have this information so that you can survive the economic collapse that's coming to America. It's not if, it's when. That's end of America. The numbers one and seven.com. After you watch it, you'll understand why I endorsed it.